good day all experiment number two to find resistance of a given wire using meter bridge and hence determine the resistivity specific resistance of its material aim to determine the resistance of a given wire using meter bridge and determine the resistivity let us see the apparatus meter bridge unknown resistance wire galvanometer jockey one way key a battery eliminator resistance box and some connecting wires now a meter bridge also known as the sliding wire bridge consists of one meter long wire of uniform cross section area fixed on a wooden block a scale is attached to the block and two gaps are formed on it by using thick metal strips so this is a wheat stone bridge and the terminal center part is helped to connect the galvanometer and the jockey let us see the connections theory the unknown resistance x is given by x which is equal to 100 minus l by l into r where r is known as the resistance placed in the left gap and unknown resistance x in the right gap of meter bridge meter bridge wire has uniform material density and area of cross section its resistance is proportional to its length for a balanced wheatstone bridge when reading in galvanometer is zero that is null deflection as per the theory p by q which is equals to r by s to determine the specific resistance that is resistivity rho of the material of the given wire x which is equal to rho l by a and rho which is equal to x a by l where a which is equal to pi r square or we can take pi diameter square by 4 so that the formula rho which is equal to x pi d square by 4 l where l is the length and d is the diameter of the given wire see the circuit diagram in this in between the metal strips we have the gaps right now when it started we have one connection in between the scale and the one meter wire which kept so you have to take the one gap one edge as a and that edge which is connected to the battery eliminator or you can take a leglangi cell positive from negative to one end of the key and other end of the one way key to the next side of the meter bridge the two gaps we have to connect the known resistance box in the right gap and in the left gap unknown resistance wire in between the gap the b will get connected to the galvanometer and the jockey let us see the connections in this meter bridge we can take one end as a other end as b from a to battery eliminator positive we have to connect from battery eliminator negative to one end of the key ok 
connect like this and the other end of the key to the meter bridge B. Here you have to connect. See, this is the left gap of the meter bridge. We have to connect here the known resistance box. And in this right gap, we have to connect the unknown resistance wire. Unknown resistance were connected here. The connection should be tight. This right gap we have connected the unknown resistance and that left gap we have connected the resistance box both the sides we have to connect it now we have to connect the galvanometer to this in between the gaps of we can call it as C positive of the galvanometer and the negative side of the galvanometer to the jockey. The, you can take preferably jockey wire as a bigger Right, let us perform the experiment. Switch on the battery. Insert the plug key. With the help of the jockey, one side of the meter bridge, if you touch, you will get the deflection on the galvanometer in one direction. You may see that clearly. Now, when you kept on the other side of the meter bridge, you will get in the galvanometer opposite deflection. Now, the connections are correct. Now take out some resistance from the resistance box say like 2 ohm I have removed and insert the plug key. Now move the jockey gently along with the wire from left side to the right till the galvanometer gives null deflection. See the galvanometer reading now. You may notice now the galvanometer shows null deflection. In this time we have to notice the reading. While you are seeing the reading and the galvanometer gives the zero deflection 
we notice that the meter bridge the reading 42 see the galvanometer as the null deflection now you have to note uh, down the reading like the same way you have to choose uh, appropriate values of R from the resistance box such that there is no deflection in the galvanometer when the jockey is nearly in the middle of the wire you have to choose take at least four to six set of observation in the same way by changing the value of R record all the observations to calculate the resistivity of the wire we must know to calculate length and the diameter of the wire length I have calculated with the help of the meter scale it is a hundred centimeter and with the help of the screw gauge we are going to calculate the diameter of the wire I have taken the wire and kept inside the screw gauge notice the head scale reading and the pitch scale reading see 0 point nearly 5 or 5 2 is the reading yes observations length of the given wire we have taken I said that is L is 100 centimeter in this tabular column we have taken for the re readings various resistance I have taken 2 3 4 and 5 we have seen for 2 42 so this is 100 minus L we have to take for the 100 minus L as so we will get 100 minus 42 58 we have to calculate X value by using this formula R 100 minus L by L so like that I have taken you are seeing all the readings so for example for resistance 3 balancing length I got 42 so 100 minus sorry 52 100 minus uh, 52 we got 48 let us see the calculation of X we have already said that for unknown resistance CX the formula is what R 100 minus L by L ohm SI unit so I have taken for one reading L which is equal to 42 so 100 minus L 58 R we have taken for 2 ohm so 2 into 58 by 42 I got 2.76 ohm okay like the length 42 I have calculated for all other resistance in the balancing length X value we have tabulated look at the tabulation so nearly it came 2.7 2.7 2.8 and again 2.8 for the calculation of resistivity we must know the readings for screw gauge let us see so least account of a screw gauge we know that pitch of the screw gauge 1 millimeter so we have taken the total uh, divisions of circular scale 100 we know that this is we have already studied in class 11 this we are using for the meter bridge as a sub experiment right so the LC calculation and all we know that I have given for your convenience so 0 0.01 into 10 power minus 3 meter is the least count see the tabular column that we have taken reading like that we have to take and choose a different four to five places in the unknown resistance wire and I have taken so the main scale reading we got zero and the number of circulations that pitch scale we have got it uh, the head scale reading we have got it 53 right so we have to calculate n into that least count so 53 into 0 0.01 into 10 power minus 3 and we got the values and finally I have taken average so this is the diameter of the given wire 0 0.53 into 10 power minus 3 meter calculation for the specific resistance the formula rho which is equal to x pi d squared by 4 L 
we know that we have taken the x value which is equal to 2.78 into pi 3.14 into the diameter value we have taken as the average 0.53 into 10 power minus 3 whole square whole divided by 4 into that 1 meter right when we simplified this we will get 0 0.613 into 10 power minus 6 we can change the power so rho value which is equal to 6.13 into 10 power minus 7 ohm meter result the value of unknown resistance x which is equal to 2.76 ohm and the specific resistance of a material of the wire which is equal to 6.13 into 10 power minus 7 ohm meter while doing the practicals you have to follow some precautions and avoid the sources of error which is given